Instant Presenter Tutorial, Custom Branding. Today, we're going to show you some of our brand new branding features that are going to allow you to personalize your meetings in a way you've never have been before. So just go over here to this Branding Defaults button in the upper right, and you're going to go to our Branding Defaults page. As you're going to see right here, we have three different tabs for different categories of branding. Now, it's worth noting that you can brand specific meeting rooms through their Edit Settings button, but we find that the default settings is more than enough for the average user. And we can go down here to upload our profile picture. Now, a profile picture is going to be shown instead of web camera footage when you're not using a web camera in the meeting room. And we can just click there and browse to an image file that we would like to use somewhere on our computer. And click the Upload button when we're done. This is going to just upload that image over to our servers, and you're going to see it displayed right here. So let's take a look at what that looks like inside of a meeting room. Now here we are in a live meeting room, and as we see up in the upper left-hand corner, there is our image. And the same is for the logo image down here. This is displayed on your login screen, registration, and survey. You upload it just the same. And as you see, it appears up here on the top of your login page. That'll also be on your registration and survey page, like I said. Let's take a look at the meeting application category. Now these new features will give your meeting room a sort of a complete overhaul. If we can go down here to the upload background image, you're going to be able to upload a background that's going to be able to be seen beyond the entire meeting. Now we have multiples uh, pre-selected here to, to, for you to choose from. And let's just go for the beach here, nice and scenic. Click Save Background Image. And if we had our own, we could just click that Upload Background button. And let's take a look at what that looks like inside the meeting. As we see, we have the nice scenic beach behind the entire application here. And if we wanted to stretch that out to make it the whole screen, we can go ahead and click right here in the Settings box. And that looks better on some backgrounds than others. And if we're done with this particular image, we can go ahead and remove it like so. Now we removed it so that we can show you the background color. The background color is going to appear behind that image if you have one, or it's just going to take up the entire space if you don't. So I clicked here on the color, and let's just select a uh, nice dark green. Click Safe Background Color when you're done. And now as we see inside the live meeting application, we now have a nice dark green background. Now if we had that image still up there, it would be in any place that image did not cover. It would be dark green. And for those of you who have a webcast uh, plan with us here, you can go ahead and upload your webcast background just the same way. Upload webcast background will allow you to select your own file. Remove can get rid of it. Or you can select one of our pre-designed templates there. You now know how to customize your meeting rooms like never before.